Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about an issue that I have had with the Zeus Crosshair 6 Hero, which is the uh, the X370, as you can see, and it's a Ryzen board, blah, blah, blah. You know, if you got any more, you can Google it online. An issue between them and EK Waterbox. As you can see here, we have the Universal AM3, which is that, these holes, and Intel backplate. Shipped with every single uh, EK Supremacy, Supremacy Evo, my bad. Ships with every single one, you know, no big deal. But luckily I was able to use it with this motherboard because it is, or it has AM3 and AM4 mounting holes in it which we will look at here in a minute. We're gonna ignore this for right now. But I was able to use this one. Well, I didn't think that I was gonna need the AM4 backplate. Anyways, so I'll get to the issue here in a second. EK Waterblock sent me the AM4 backplate. As you can see, looking at it this way, mounting holes are obviously different between AM4 and AM3. So, I got both of these. If you notice, neither one of them is on my computer right now. Because, especially with the Crosshair 6 Hero, there's an issue that, if you're looking at it this way, motherboard's right here. This standoff right here, or I can't say standoff. This mounting screw right there in the bottom left hand corner when you're looking at it from the back of the motherboard, basically will short your system out. Uh, it could be as loose as ever, it could be, you know, tightened down like it should be, and it will short your system out. So the only thing that I have found to remedy this problem is keep the rubber gasket just to make sure that everything's okay and not going to sh actually short out. But I went and bought some 430 second Teflon nuts that takes the place of the back plate and so far to this day i have not had a single issue out of this a lot of people would say you know get a hold of a zeus get a hold of ek express your concerns to them ek had, had actually told me because I, I sent them pictures and everything that because one of these screws was not as or one of the standoffs that goes through the motherboard was not even like the other ones and it wasn't screwed in just a little bit not enough and they said that was my problem doesn't seem like a real good thing to go about here a zeus on the other hand I praise them because they offered to send me not one but two different motherboards to try this out I eventually i fixed the problem it's not really the motherboard i can't say if there's any other issues going on with any other motherboards but i know for a fact it's going on with the azus motherboard and how to know that you're having this issue if you yourself have an azus motherboard let me turn this around and i can show you guys if i can keep the front of my computer closed Plug this back in. All right. All right. Let me get this off the stand. All right. You see the little. I had to move my cables out of the way. See that little screen right there? It's a debug LED. It allows you to. Uh, or as it's posting, it'll show you what's going on. I gotta fix this lighting. Ah, that'll work. Um, but it'll basically it'll tell you what's going on. Come over here. Turn that on. See my Q plus and everything, you know, turned on. This is its idle state. I guess I really should have done this first. HDMI's plugged in. So we reach over here, hit the start button. Oh wait, 
What does that say? Focus. All right. It's supposed to say CPU okay. Turn it on. Goes through DRAM, CPU, and hey, would you look at that? It's still doing it. Anyways, goes DRAM, CPU, VGA, and then boot. Sorry for the bright white light. VGA, and then boot. Everything looks pretty good. But whenever that screen right there says eight, just eight by itself, not zero eight, nothing, just eight, you know that there is a loss of con a loss of communication between CPU or between CPU and DRAM. Or in the in the next step is what I'm talking about. Down here, this post right here, every single time before I put the different nuts on there, I would have to take this post all the way out, reach up there, turn it on, and as it was posting, put that post back in there. I will admit, it's not the best way, it's not the safest way, but I managed to get it to work. And like I said, I got a hold of EK and they told me, I don't have it screwed down tight enough. So took some more pictures and sent it to them and they said well there's nothing that we can do so I just want to throw this out there about EK water blocks and their moderate customer service you know none of none of this is sponsored FYI none of this this is everything that is purchased out of my pocket and EK still doesn't want to help me like I said a Zeus on the other hand fantastic but you know I got nothing to say about I got nothing more to say about his uh, EK water box. So looks like I'm putting an XSPC in there, or anybody else. You know, if you have a extra one besides the EK Supremacy Evo, you know, hit me up. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe because this thing is getting is slowly getting benchmarked again. So all right, bye.